it's just a lot of also major celebrities, actors, athletes have all become huge fans of Dragon Ball and we're just so excited to see it um, all over the place. So, um, you know, you guys have probably had a, a lot of experience with these celebrities. Do you, do you know of any fun experiences with those guys? Or? Well, it's funny. Uh, I actually had a very good, like a very cool experience this morning uh, when I looked in the mirror and I, <laughs> and I said, wow, <laughs> this Dragon Ball Z stuff is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, we have, like over the years, over 20 years of going to these conventions, if the celebrities at the con don't know who we are at the beginning, they certainly know at the end, because we usually have longer lines than they do. And, uh, and let's see, so many cool things have happened. Like recently, uh, I was contacted by an artist, a, a performing artist called John Bellion. He's very, very uh, well known as an artist. And he asked, had me come out and record at his studio in New York. And he flew me out. I recorded in like Billy Joel's saxophones recording studio. And, he, and it was just a blast. And he, he was recording with people like RZA and he had like a Quincy Jones. But he said, I'm the most excited to meet you. I'm like, boy, what is wrong with you, man? I don't know. Yeah, so he uses the voice that you, you recorded a song with the voice of Piccolo using your voice. Yes. Uh, Piccolo. Yeah. I was like, guy, I wonder if I'm allowed to do this. Okay, I guess I should. <laughs> I, <laughs> Sean, didn't you meet Superman the other day? Didn't you oh, actually finally face off with Superman? I faced off with uh, uh, one of the Superman. <laughs> his name? I, I'm so nervous, I can't remember any names. Um, but I can't tell another story until I fa tell, remember which Superman I faced off against. Um, I was at a convention once and Christian Slater was there. He was the nicest guy. And it turns out his son's a big Dragon Ball fan. And he, I said, look, if you ever need anything, you know, just here's my email. So he wrote me an email. And he said, my son's birthday or graduation, I couldn't remember which one it is, is coming up. Would you mind me sending me some signed stuff? So I took about 10 items from my collection of various Dragon Ball items. And I signed them all, wrote him a nice letter, told him how much Christian Slater had influenced me as an actor. And uh, then he sent me an email uh, showing his son opening those presents. And so... Uh, it was very exciting, and, and, and I can't say enough nice things about uh, Mr. Slater. He was so cool to me and Chris, um, and I'm a huge fan of his as well, so it's really, really cool. And Britney Spears once tweeted us about yeah. her son drawing Freezer or something. Yeah, she won't leave us alone. Yeah, she won't. Britney won't leave us alone. <laughs> All right. Well, we actually do have a couple other celebrities here that uh, really wanted to uh, be part of this and uh, be on the panel. So uh, let me uh, introduce you to a couple of them here. Uh, first up here is seven-time WWE Tag Team Champion and member of the New Day. Please welcome WWE Superstar Kofi Kingston. Yeah. Dragon Ball Super figures, and uh, <laughs> I'll take them. Yeah, if you're giving them out, I'll take them. <laughs> uh, next up, highly decorated wrestler and former WWE Intercontinental Champion. Here is WWE Superstar Zack Ryder. Yeah. So, Kofi and Zach, uh, I hear you're fans of uh, Dragon Ball, obviously. And, yes. Uh, so, uh, what do you, you know, love about the series? I, I, I love everything about the series, man. Um, I, I grew up watching Dragon Ball, and uh, so recently, um, one of my friends actually, uh, he's probably, I think he was in Comic Con like last year. Mike Daniels uh, plays for the Green Bay Packers. He's a love huge it. anime fan. Yes, yes, clap for that man. He's a, he's, he's a fantastic individual um, who loves anime, and he told me how awesome Dragon Ball Super was. Now, I'm the kind of person that if I walk into a movie and 20 seconds has gone by, I'll walk right out. I need to see every, every bit of the movie, like all the previews and everything. So when he was talking about Super, I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna go back and watch the entire Dragon Ball franchise again. You know, from start from Dragon Ball all the way through. So um, yes, uh, the other day uh, it was probably like a week and a half ago I finally finished the original Dragon Ball, which still holds up. 
You know, a lot of cartoons that you watch like don't really hold up in this day and age, but Dragon Ball like still holds up the theme of everything, you know, Goku, you know, fighting the good fight and doing everything, pushing yourself beyond your limits, you know? Um, so I watched all of that and then I found out I was gonna be on this panel. And um, I had no idea that I was gonna be on with, with these guys, you know? So this is just amazing for me right now. I feel like I'm the biggest fan in the room right now because I'm such a fan of the franchise. But then I was caught in like a, between a rock and a hard place with like, okay, now do I go back and watch like Dragon Ball Z and everything or, or, or do, I, do, I, do I watch Super because I'm coming here. And I knew I was coming here, so I, I started to watch Super, and I'm like halfway through, so please, like, no spoilers <laughs> for Super for me, but again, like, it's just amazing to see how far the franchise has come. Um, you asked me, um, you know, why I like Dragon Ball, and I just, I, I love the, just the theme of, you know, just growth. It, to me, it's about, like, growth. You have characters on the show who are, you know, they're bad guys and they turn into good guys. You know, you have guys who are good and they fight the good fight. You know, you have guys who are bad and rotten to the core. Oh my gosh, is this wrestling? <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's a lot of crossover between um, between Dragon Ball and WWE and that is that is why we're here. So again, thank you to, thank to you. everybody for letting me for letting letting us be here. It's really an honor to uh, to be on the same stage as you guys. Please do not